Hello there, I am Giant Girl with Pokemon Leaf Green. Ah, uh, not Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon Yellow, my bad. <laughs> In the last part, we started Mount Moon and we uh, went through Route 3 and battled all the trainers on Route 3 and made and started Mount Moon basically. Off screen, I did heal up at the Pokemon Center, so my Pokemon are full healed. I have, uh, I think I have Storm up front and all my, my, all three of my Pokemon right now are level 15. Last time I checked. Wow, it's, uh, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Yeah, it's a big place. It's like the first, if you want to count this as like the first official, official dungeon, you can, I guess, if you want to. An oddish, okay. Should just trying to think, do I have a, oh, I'm gonna type the match, okay, whatever. Um, oh, jeez, okay, let's, uh, let's go in with, let's, let's, uh, go to Lavender. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's get absorbed. Yeah, because I, I knew that Oddish would probably have absorbed as a grass type attack. That way it's not very effective, right? Since it's switched to Lavender, because Lavender is pure of poison types. So that's good. Uh, let's use Horn Attack on this thing. Let's see. This thing's level 11. It shouldn't be too hard to take down. It does about one third of its max. It's pretty good. That's good for us. Yeah. Let's use another Horn Attack then. Okay, and one more horn attack should do it, but you stupid <laughs> oddish is not absorb, so it might be just enough to make it live another turn or something, you know, or way it wasn't way it doesn't faint. But that wasn't the case. Good, awesome. Storm is in the level sixteen. Awesome. I would go down to one experience. Okay, cool. A bell spot. I'm gonna keep lavender in. Cause this bell spot probably knows vine whip. It's level eleven. Let's use another horn attack on this thing. Yeah, it does half. Cool. Yeah, it's, I knew I'd have to find what Billy. Jeez. Okay. There we go, nice. Yeah, we defeated the last. Awesome. Oh, I lost it. I'm sorry. Thanks for the 165 Poké Dollars, though. Let's switch Pokemon real quick. Um, Storm and Lavender, and then uh, Storm and Grumpy. Yeah. Cool. I don't think there's anything up here. Nope. Okay. Let's just go this way. I'm gonna. That uh, Jada interrupted me. What I was gonna say is I'm gonna skip the guy who says, Oh, I dig here with Brock sometimes, or I dig holes in here in Mount Moon, and sometimes Brock from the previous day gym helps me. I'm gonna avoid that guy altogether. He's not important. Let's get down here. I'm looking for a Paris, though. That was a Zubat, but Lavender grew level 16. It's gonna evolve. Awesome. Yes, Lavender is evolving. Awesome. That's what it evolved. Haha. <laughs> There we go, Lavender evolved into Nidorino. Nice. Cool. Although I am looking for a Paris still and a Clefairy. I'm gonna catch a Paris because it can win Cut as an HM Slave. So that's pretty cool. It, can, it just can win Cut all together. And then Clefairy can win Flash all together. And I'll use it as HM. The mats really just HM Slaves really. So I'm gonna put Grumpy up at the front because Grumpy's still level 15. Jeez. That was a stupid Zubat. Not what I'm looking for, man. Here's a rocket grunt. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. I will not get lost. And just because you said that, I'm gonna stay, stay, stay. Rocket wants to fight, of course. Okay, it's not a Zubat. Cool, it's level 12. Nice, good for you. Let's go for the karate trap on this thing. And it does. Uh, critical, nice. It does the majority of its HP. That's good. Let's go finish it off with a scratch, hopefully. Hopefully, Scratch will finish it off. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, and then Ekans. Okay. We'll stay in. Let's go for the karate trap on this Ekans. There we go. Critical Crit, awesome. We'll take it. It's gonna be weird, but it's fairly good. Let's go with another karate trap just to make sure it goes down. There we go. Critical Crit, awesome. We'll take it. Cool. Grumpy good level 16. Awesome. Defeated Rocket, nice. So you are good. Yes, I am very good. Thanks for noticing. Thanks for the $360. dollars Um, I oh, I kept on I keep on forgetting, but finally I'm gonna show off what the Peter G City Gym Battle looks like. This is the Boulder Badge right here. I have it zoomed in and editing, of course. Yeah, it put it, Brock's face gets replaced by this, so that's cool. Okay, so we have um. 4,243 Poké Dollars. Our playtime is 9 hours 13 minutes. Our name is Steven, of course, for the save file. Yeah, cool. Uh, dang it. That stupid you dude was being stupid. 
Okay, what is TMO1? I don't actually know what that is off the top of my head. Um, use, it contains Mega Punch. Should Mega Punch the Pokemon? Um, just Grumpy now. I guess we can get rid of Weir. I don't know, Mega Punch isn't any of my final moves that's from Pokemon. Let's just get rid of Weir. Yeah, let's just teach a Mega Punch. Could be good, could be bad, I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to see. Here is an Ether, very worth picking up. It will store 10 PP of one move, I believe. So that's cool. Another stupid Zubat. As, as, as if we don't see as many of those anymore. I'm gonna keep on looking around here for a Clefairy and a Paris. So let's see if we can find one. Okay, I'm gonna speed- I'm gonna cut to where I find one because this is taking too long. Okay, we found a Clefairy. That's pretty good. Uh, let's use, uh, shoot. Let's use Scratch on this thing. Hopefully we won't faint it. Please don't faint it. Grumpy. I know you're kind of grumpy, but still. Growl. Okay, it's gonna lower Grumpy's attack. Let's use one more scratch on this thing. I'm gonna hope that it doesn't have a critical hit. Oh, of course you got a critical hit on my Grumpy. Jeez. There we go, red health. Good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do... Gosh dang, you can pack a punch your stupid fairy. Is, uh, just so I don't have red health like that, I use a Pokeball. I could've went to Pikachu and use Thunder Wave. I went to three. Oh, we caught it that Nice. Cool. Yeah, there was out of the Pokedex for Clefairy, okay. Clefairy is a fairy Pokemon, it's, it's height is 2 feet tall, it's 2 feet tall basically. Weighs 17 pounds exactly, number 35 on the Pokedex. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare, as they do not appear often, that is true. Give me a name of yes, okay, let's name this, uh... Uh, let's just name it Fairy. It's a very generic nickname. I don't care. It's an HM slave. It's gonna be used as an HM slave, I should say. So Clefairy, yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna cut to where I find a Paris next. So see you guys in a second. Okay, Grumpy Good level 17 on that. Nice. Cool. Okay, I finally found a Paris. It's level 9, okay. Um Ah uh, shoot. I'm gonna um go to Storm on this one. Yeah, Pika, cool, yeah, it's good scratch on us, okay, cool. Good for you, I guess. Um, let's use, uh, just quick attack on this thing, hopefully it doesn't faint it. Okay, good. To about one third, nice. Let's use another quick attack then. And it puts in the all, okay, cool. To, f to uh, add the, to seal the deal, I'm gonna use Thunder Wave on this thing. Yeah. Let's go scratch again. Okay, of course. Let's go for the item and throw a Pokeball at it. Let's catch this thing, hopefully. One, two, three, and we caught it. Awesome. All right, Paris was caught. Awesome. Yeah. New Pokedex, uh, your Pokedex data will be added for the Paris. Oh, yeah, I misread that slightly. Paris, the mushroom Pokemon, it's only one feet tall. It's only one foot tall, I should say. It weighs 12 pounds exactly. Number 46 in the Pokedex. Burrows under the ground to, to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. That's pretty cool. Give it to Paris. Yes, okay. You know, we're gonna name Paris as in like Paris as in like the place that you can go to. Paris. Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna go back and heal at the Pokemon Center yet again, but I will meet you guys back out where, um, if I can go over here actually, I'll show you guys where I'll meet you guys at. I'll meet you guys right about here in Mount Moon, so I'll be right back, I gotta heal my Pokemon, just because I'm paranoid, I know. So see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm right here, I know it's not on the exact spot I'd say be at, but uh, it's close enough I guess. Let's put, um, Grumpy to the bottom of the list, well not to the very bottom, but you know. Um... Yeah, just to the, to this, these sections. I'm not gonna use Fairy Paris, but, um, Grumpy. I'm gonna use Grumpy Lavender and Storm, of course. So yeah, Storm is up front, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Here's a youngster, I believe, so let's take him on. Uh, did you come here to explore too? I kinda came here just to get to the Southern City, but yeah, I guess I can do some exploring. Here's the other youngster. He has a rat, okay, cool, that's pretty cool, it's level 10. Nice. Okay, let's use Thundershock on that thing. 
and yeah. This puts in the red. Okay, let's get his tail up though. Double Storm's defense. Let's go for the quick attack next. Hopefully finish it off, you know, that'd be nice. There we go, nice. Okay. Let's send out another rat, of course. Let's just do the same thing. We're gonna since this also this rat is also level ten, we're gonna put uh Thunder Shock. We're gonna use Thunder Shock and then quick attack, of course. So yeah, quick attack. And should faint it. Yes, it does. Awesome. And he has a zoo bat. Okay. So Storm actually has this type of advantage now. Which is pretty cool. It's just Thunder Shock on this thing. It's going to be super effective. Let's see how much this does. It takes it on one hit because it's critical. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, we defeat a youngster. Awesome. Uh, you lose instincts. I know. Sorry, man. But thanks for 150 Poké Dollars, man. I really appreciate it. Here is a hiker. Which I shouldn't actually have Pikachu up for an actually. I'll like switch to Lavender for this fight. Yeah, let's take on this hiker, dude. Um, whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. I, I was, I walked right in front of you. How'd I spook you? Jeez. I guess I was on your line side or something. Here's hiker, yeah. Yeah. And he's just saying I'm a kid. That's not very nice. I have big potential, you know that, right? Oh yeah. I forgot that, I forgot that Lavender evolves so now has an updated sprite. Back sprite. Let's use for the double kick. It hits twice, of course, because it's a double kick. Although it can hit more times than twice, more than just twice sometimes, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go for the double kick again, just in case. I don't want to leave with a sliver of red health and have to wait and I turn to faint the stupid Geodude, you know? Okay, has another Geodude. Okay, coming out cool. That's just great. This one's level 10. I forgot to read what level the previous Geodude was, but that's okay. Yeah. Nice. Just tackle on this thing, okay, you can tackle me. Uh, let's go for the horn attack, hopefully I can... Hopefully Lavender can take this thing out, there we go, awesome. It's not very effective, but it fainted it. Whatever, okay. And he has an Onyx, so this is their Pokemon. This Onyx is level 12, I believe. If I, nope, just level 10, okay, let's use double tick, double kick on this thing. Jeez. And so put it in the yellow, I think, yeah, right there. Okay, so I'll use another double kick in the next turn. Screech will lower Lavender's defense, but you're gonna about you're about to go down anyway, Onyx, so it really doesn't even matter. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Lavender's in the level 17, awesome. Nice. We feed a hiker, awesome. Wow, shocked again. Thanks for 350 Poké Dollars, man. Let's switch, uh, let's try to the front again. Here is a mound, a moonstone. I almost said moonstone. Heh. <laughs> Jeez. So I can, we can actually evolve. As I was saying before, that stupid Zubat interrupted me. We can actually evolve Nidorino into a uh, Needle King, my Lavender. But I'm gonna wait on that for a while. I kind of want to keep a uh, Lavender as a Nidorino for right now, because I don't want to evolve right when it just evolved in the same part. I mean, that'd be crazy, right? Heh. <laughs> But you, I can do that if I want, but I'm just not going to. And you know, that's just my choice. Dang it! That stupid Clefairy did half damage. Half. Did a lot of damage to Pikachu, my storm. That wasn't very nice. I'm gonna have to use a potion. Jeez. I, don't, I didn't even see what move that Clefairy used because I sped it up, you know? Jeez. It must have been a critical hit or something. Okay, right here would have been a revive, just like in Fire Road and Leaf Green. I'm pretty sure that would have been a revive right there. I'm like 90% sure. Oh, here's another Rocket Grunt. Oh my goodness. Stupid Clefairy. Let's just take on this Rocket Grunt. What well, kids should leave uh, Grunt Ups alone? If you say so, I'm still... I'm kind of the protagonist in this game, so I kind of have to mess with you guys. I'm sorry. If I want to be a Pokemon Master, I kind of have to do that stuff. So excuse me, princess. Heh heh. Heh heh. Origin Zelda reference. Uh, based on the CDI TV show and stuff, whatever. I don't know. It was a bad reference, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that rat text goes down. I think it was like a level 13. This Zubat is level 13 as well. If I am right about that previous rat being level 13. We're gonna go for the Thundershock. It doesn't quite faint it, so. Okay, I'll finish it off with a quick attack though. Hopefully it'll finish it off though, so I don't have to eat my hat. Good, I don't have to eat my hat. Cool. We defeated Rocket. Cool. I'm steamed. Thanks for 390 Pokedollars, man. That kind of stinks for you. 
Honestly, it does. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was the Zuba I just took down and Storm Good Level 17. Awesome. I'm gonna keep Storm to the front though. Oh my gosh. This is kind of what I get for not buying repels. All these wild encounters, it's like crazy. When I have to edit this. I said when I have to edit this, I'm gonna have to like. Add all, add all these wild Pokemon battles and all these wild encounters. Even though what I just said is kind of the same thing wild Pokemon and wild encounters. Yeah, random encounters, jeez. Another Zubat, the one, not the last battle that I ran into, but the battle before, that was a Paris at least. So there's some variety, I guess. Oh my gosh. That last battle was another Paris. Oh my gosh. That was a Zubat, okay. I think there's a hidden uh, Moonstone right here. So yeah, we, cut, we found another Moonstone, awesome, nice. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, if we want to any more wild Pokemon battle, wild Pokemon, I should say, we'll just continue on up here. Hey, stop! I found these fossils, they're both mine. Of course, they're blocking my way, so either way I have to get rid of them or move them or something. This is Super Nerd, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have a name, of course, because it's Gen 1. <laughs> a Grimer, okay. Let's go for the Thundershock on this thing. Let's see how much it does. It's level 12. And it does a little half because it could quit. Nice. I'll take it. Disable. Okay, of course you get a stable thunder. Oh, you got a disable thunder wave. I thought you got a disable thunder shock. Good. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Okay, there goes the grammar. Voltorb. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Let's go to. Let's go to Grumpy, I guess. Voltorb is level 12. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Let's go for the Karate Chop, I guess. Yeah, Critical Quit, awesome, I'll take it. Let's get Tackle on us, Critical Quit on Grumpy. Let's go for the Scratch Attack. Yeah, he paints the Voltorb, good. Okay, so we're gonna send a coughing, okay. We'll stay in with Grumpy, I guess. Let's try the Mega Punch. See how much it does. This coughing is also level 12. It's a little, it does half at least. Okay, good. It's a good thing Smog missed. Because I don't, I don't want Grumpy to get poisoned or anything. Because that would be bad. We take out the coughing with one more Mega Kick. And we take out the Super Nerd. We defeated the Super Nerd. Cool. Okay, I'll share. Thanks for 300 Pocket Hours. Okay, so, uh. Doctor again. Well, each take one. No being greedy. So we got the Helix Fossil. Which evolves, which can be restored into Omnimite. Um, which is cool, I guess. Or we got the Dome Fossil, which can be uh, restored into uh, Kabuto. And evolves into Kabutops. And then, of course, you know, with the Helix Fossil, Omnimite evolves into Omnistar. I want the Dome Fossil, to be honest. So I'm going to take the Dome Fossil, because I like Kabuto more, honestly. And Kabutops, because the way they look is more appealing than just like a snail with a spike shell, you know. Compared to like Omnistar and Omnimite. Or just Omnistar for that matter, with the spiky shell. <laughs> yeah, and Pikachu jumps in front of us so we can't take the other one or whatever. Or to make sure that oh, we're all good or something, you know? I think he said, alright, then this one is mine. Cool. Okay, far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. Yes, um, if you look... Oh, I don't even have my town map, do I? Because I, it's on my PC, because I want to save room. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Well, Basically, Cinnabar Island is south of Pallet Town, and you need Surf to get it, and we haven't even got to Surf yet, uh, the HM at least. That's not until I get the 6th or 5th or 6th gym badge. So it's going to be a while till we get to Cinnabar Island, honestly, because that's where the 7th gym badge is, or 7th gym badge, and gym leader, and gym is. So yeah. Okay, so I have, who do I have in front, because there's going to be a battle coming up, I have Storm at front, okay, um, I'll keep Storm at front, I guess. So let's just mosey on out here. Oh, look, there's the ladder. We can get out of here. Stop right there. Yeah, okay, of course. Oh, look, it's Jesse and James, Team Rocket. The, that fossil is Team Rockets. So right now, we're prepared to fight. So guess what? We have to fight team, uh, Jesse and James from Team Rocket. Rocket wants to fight, of course. Okay, you just name Rocket. Okay, whatever. This Ekans is level 14. Cool. Let's use Thundershock on this thing. It'd be nice if we could paralyze it, too. Nope, of course not. Poison Sting, oh no. That might poison Pikachu. Oh, of course it did. I jinxed it. Oh man, this is just a bummer. Hurt by poison, okay, of course. 
Okay, yeah, let's use another thunder shock on this thing. That should go down, nice. And about to use Meowth. Okay, I'll switch to, uh, I'll switch to Grumpy for this. Meowth's level 14, cool. Let's go for the low kick on this thing. There we go. It's super effective, it takes out one hit, awesome. Good for us. Grumpy is level 18, awesome. And then finally, coughing. Let's switch to Lavender for this one then. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. We got another poison type to deal with. Let's just horn attack on this thing. It's level 14. All their Pokemon are level 14 apparently. So that's cool, I guess. Whatever. Two more horn attacks should do it. It's gonna use this coughing to use tackle though on Lavender. Okay, smog, okay. It won't be very effective though. Haha, <laughs> I only did 2 HP. It's not very effective. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this one attack should take it out, critical. Awesome. Yeah. We defeated a rocket, cool. A brat beat us? Yes, I guess. So that's I guess so. Thanks for 420 pocket dollars. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Okay. Um I thought you meant to say like Team Rocket is blast Team Rocket's blasting off again or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna give a I'm gonna use the antidote on Storm. Just to get it of its poison. Because I don't want it to suffer, you know. And every time it takes a step, it makes that little glitch noise or whatever. We're out of Cerulean. We're out of Mount Moon. <laughs> Almost we're out of Cerulean. Okay, yeah. Okay, Route, route 4 Mount Moon. Cerulean City. Okay, so this is Route 4, apparently. It's a short route. There's really no trainers, I guess. So once you kind of count the one with the people at the Paris. The, tr the two move tutor guys aren't here in red, blue, and yellow, apparently. They're only in, um, well, they might be here in red and blue, but I know they're in fire and leaf green. They'll teach you to make a punch and make a kick to one of your Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Is there anything over here? Nope, I guess not. There could be hit on him, so I'm missing, but I really just don't want to look for them right now. It's already been a long video. And recording time, I'm almost at 27 minutes, so I want to wrap this up soon. You know, I don't want to drag on for too much longer. But yeah, here is, um, oh yeah, there's a TM over there. I think it's just for Roar, although it could be different because this is Gen 1 and not Fire and Leaf Green. TM04, what is TM04? I forget. Okay, so let's, uh, you, okay, TM04, let's see. Let's do Whirlwind. Okay, we, we don't need to teach Whirlwind in Pokemon. I don't even think I have a flying type yet, honestly. So, I don't have a Kapiji or anything, so it doesn't really matter. You can hop up with these ledges right here. You can hop into this tall grass. I think you can find, like, Ekans and Sandshrew and, uh, Raitas and Pidgeys, I believe. And then once you just cross over, jump over this ledge, you can't go back to Mount Moon or Pewter City for a while. So keep that in mind. If you want to catch, if, make sure you get the two Moonstones, you know, the one um, near the ladder in the corner of one of the floors on Mount Moon, where the hiker guy was, and then also the one that was hidden in the wall at the very end of Mount Moon against the right side wall of uh, the final, like, floor, I guess you could say. And then uh, you want to make sure that you caught, you you bought the magic card for your Pokedex if you want it for your Pokedex or whatnot. And other than that, I think you can just hop over the ledge whenever you're ready. I'm ready though, however. So let's make our way into Cerulean City. Yeah. We're in Cerulean City now, awesome. So, uh, let me see here. I'm gonna go heal up real quick. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna end the part soon though too. I'm gonna put the Dome Fossil, the TMO4, the, uh, One Moonstone, uh, the Ether, um, TM12, um, and that's about it really in the PC because I already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I already have 12 spots taken up out of 20, so I only have any more spots. But if I put all those items I just said away in the PC, in my PC, we'll have more room. So I'll be right back. I'm going to heal my Pokemon and clear up my bag a little bit to make more room for it, in, for it you know? So see you guys in a second. Okay, now that I've done that, you can actually take on the gym right now, which will be the sign just for fun, I guess. So it's a deep, uh, mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Cool, okay. So it's a water type gym. So if you, so we start with Pikachu, we have a type advantage, really. Um, one thing I want to show off before we end the part, actually, is this house. If you tuck this girl right here, she'll say, I'll t I take care of injured Pokemon. I nursed this Bulbasaur back to health. I need it a good, it needs a good trainer to take care of it now. Yeah, and we can't get that Bulbasaur, this Bulbasaur right here, until Bulba Bulbasaur, 
We can't get this bulbasaur until we peek at the civilian city gym badge, which kind of stinks, but that's coming up, so that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna... Let's, I'll just end the part like right here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do some organizing on Pokemon. Um, I guess it's already organized by level, and of course Fairy and Paris don't agree with. I uh, don't really count for that because it's just it's. I'm basing it off a of Grumpy Lavender and Storm level 17, level 17, level 18. Basically, is how I just decided that. <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, so that's been then my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part. The next, part will take on what's north of Suwon City, and uh, take up all the trainers there. I could do the Mew glitch, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it. I think I need, I need, I know I need an Abra, but, um, honestly, I don't know if I want to show it or not, because I, I have to make sure I don't, I don't fight the guy with the slowpoke, uh, north, uh, just east or west of Bill's house, so I don't know if I want to do it, though, like, I've done it in my, uh, 3DS save file with the Pokemon Yellow when I got it off the virtual console, it's pretty cool, but, uh, I don't know if I want to, sh it'd be cool, but, uh, I don't want to, like stress over not battling the person that might that has to do with that glitch so i'm probably gonna skip out honestly but i will um yeah i, I will sh I, I don't know uh you can look up on youtube like the glitch if you're curious if, it, if you haven't seen it before but uh i don't think i'll be doing it and showing it for the project so uh i'll just skip out on it It'd be really cool to show it, but I don't want to be, I don't want to have that in the back of my mind, you know, like, oh man, did I already mess up the glitch by accidentally battling so-and-so, or did I not use teleport at the right time? I don't know, I, I don't want it, I don't want it to stress me out, honestly. So yeah, so this has been my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part, as I said before, next part will take on what's north of Swin City, and if we have time, we can take on the gym, but I don't know if we have time, because I want to, I don't want it to be super long for the next part or whatever. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for but goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next by my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.